I was about to start recording a video showing how to create this conditionally formatted column chart. It's showing time of day and different color codings based on the brackets where energy consumption costs more or less. Okay, But I needed a timetable. And I've done a video on a timetable. I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, but I looked at the code and it was a bit ugly. I also wanted to add a 30 minute time bucket. I was about to start manually doing it. I thought, no, let's see if GPT-4 can help. And boy, could it help. Okay, let's go. So this was the chart that I was gonna explain how to do. And I'll, I'll do this in another video, probably next week. All right, so there's the little time of day and whether it's off peak for gray and green, etc. I'll show that next week. But I needed a timetable. So my model, if I flip over here, I've got a calendar table, but then I've got a timetable to bucket things into hours and minutes and half hours, etc. Okay, because my data is coming out sort of in half hourly slots, but it might be coming out in minute slots. And I just want to bucket those things together, just like you bucket dates into months and years. All right. So let me have a look at the actual Power Query code. Okay, here it was. And if we focus in on it, we can see, look, it's just doing these labels, integer division, change type. You know, I've been lazy. I haven't documented my code. There's no explanations about what the code's doing. And I was about to start typing in and I said, no, stop. Use, see if GPT-4 can help. Right, so let's go in here, advanced editor. And we'll copy all this code, control C. Then we'll go into gpt and GPT-4, you have to pay for this $20 a month, but it's way, way better than 3.5. Okay, and before I paste this in, I'm actually gonna go and grab my prompt. Now, this prompt is available. I'll, again, I'll put it in the link. It's from another video, same prompt that I've used before. So I'm just gonna come across to this other prompt here that I've already got set up. Okay, I've already asked this one, used this a number of times, so I'm just going to copy paste this, or if you went into the Word document I su supplied, copy this, and then go into the new chat, and make sure you pick GPT-4, and then paste the prompt, okay, and it just, it, the prompt is just saying, look, make, well, I'll just send this now, it's just saying, hey, you're a Power Query expert, and I like to rename the code, etc. If you didn't see my earlier video on this, go back and take a look. A little link will pop up and I'll leave one in the show notes. Right, now I need to paste in my code. And some of you may be thinking, oh, he's going to have to go back in and copy his M code again because he's just pasted his prompt. But Ken Pulls reminded me of this. The Windows key V button. I love it. Okay, Windows key V. It brings up the list of things you've previously copied. So I can just click on this. And there's my code from earlier, so you don't have to go back. And it works with everything. Copy, paste with Excel, you know, all those sorts of things. Really good. Windows key V. Send this message. All right, so it's going to try and tidy it up for me. Here it goes. It's given me a little message here. It's given me the breakdown. It's given me some descriptions. Awesome. Okay, let's see how good it does it. There you go, it's renamed it insert five minute bucket. That was just not really named properly before. It's now done an insert 10 minute bucket. This is just so good. You know, I can go off and have a little quick drink or something while this does this, but honestly, it does it in a few seconds, half the time, so it's amazing. All right, actually, let me let me stop this, okay? I don't wanna, con I could continue. Um, I'm going to say, could you also bucket this into th add a 30 minute bucket based on the above logic? Okay, let me do that. And here it goes. I'll zoom this through, but it's pretty amazing. Here comes the 30 minute bucket bit. There you are, that didn't exist in my code, but it's following the same logic that my 10 minute and one hour bucket added. And there it's adding the 30 minute time slot. Brilliant. 
Okay, so let me try this out. Copy the code, go back into my Power BI. Rather than pasting over my original, let's just create a blank query just to test it out first, just in case, okay? And we go Advanced Editor, highlight this, paste, click Done. There we go, we've got minute, time a minute, 10 minute, one hour, 30 minute bucket, five minute time slot, a 30 minute time slot, one o'clock, 1.30. That's pretty awesome. And look, just beautifully documented code explaining what's going on. This is awesome. All right, I'll actually do the proper video in terms of how to build that color-coded chart because this timetable feeds in to the ability to actually build this chart by minute. All right, catch you in the next video.